Hi, this is Auntie, and I am coming to you with a review of This Is Us. This Is Us is a show that is absolutely phenomenal. And really what the show can be called is This Is Me. Let me tell you, if you are anywhere between the age of mm, 35 and up, you can absolutely relate to this show, especially if you were raised um, as an early preteen in the 60s and the 70s. This show is all that in a bag of chips. We have Jack and his wife, Rebecca, who are pregnant. And they are pregnant with triplets. And um, they're so excited about it. It shows their loving relationship and them just moving to Pittsburgh and, you know, really getting their, their feet um, wet as far as, you know, being career people, starting a career in their life together as a couple. And um, it goes on to show uh, Rebecca having the triplets and one of the triplets died and she you know she's unaware that she's lost the baby and so the doctor talks with her husband and there's a baby that was left at the firehouse a little african-american baby and um they were going to name them i believe it was kevin kate and corey and um he convinces the father that it's good for the mother to take these um this little african american baby who was left and he's the same age as they are and when his wife awakens they show you you know him waking her up you know him telling her about that the baby was lost and then the ideal of them having so this rebecca baby. is now having to take these three babies home and as she's you know, being prepared and being willed out of the hospital, she sees this African-American man. And there's that motherly gut instinct that allows her to see past the African-American man and see the, the, the purpose. He was there because that was his baby leaving the hospital. So basically, she knows about Randall's um, dad the whole time. She knows about his drug abuse. She seeks him out because, you know, after a couple of weeks of being home, she realizes, I can't adjust to keeping this baby. I can't adjust to this. This is hard for me. And I can imagine, although I don't have a racist bone in my body, of somebody, me being pregnant, and somebody swapping my baby out or me losing my baby and then having to take on a baby of another race. Could I bond with that baby? Jack did. Jack was carefree and charismatic the whole entire time. He was that kind of dad that was just all that in a bag of chips. The thing that I can most relate to uh, with this being a mom is that, you know, you... When you're carrying those babies in your womb, you have a tendency to be in love with them. You fall in love with the possibility of who they are and taking care of them. And it also comes with a lot of fear and apprehension, especially if it's your first time at that rodeo. So to know that you had a baby, you know, you were supposed to have triplets. She's already fashioned and thought about how this is going to work. And then all of a sudden you're being told that not only did one of your babies pass away but now you've got this african-american baby and so it's like okay how do i bond to this baby now that didn't come from my womb although i did prepare to have three kids i'm sure for kate that was really a hard feat but the father jack i mean why do i keep saying kate her name is rebecca okay kate is one of the kids all right so i apologize Charge it to my mind and not to my heart, I like okay? this show because it is rich in character. Every character is richly written. They have a lot of depth to them. So you have Kevin, who grew up as um, an actor. Kevin is white. 
he grew up as an actor and he's tired of the mundane acting thing. And then you have the twin sister, which is Kate. And Kate is his manager. She, her whole life has been around um, taking care of Kevin. And then you have Randall, who was the African-American child that was adopted into the family. And he's a businessman. One thing about this show is it makes me cry. It touches the very heartstrings of who you are. To see this rich writing, um, in-depth characters, is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, I don't there's not enough I can say. I, there's so many things that I want to talk about as it relates to This Is Us. And I probably should have reviewed it week after week, but I didn't. So it's like I'm trying to scrunch everything into this one taping. And that's not fair to you and it's not fair to me. This Is Us is a musty show. It wraps up the conflicts that can be present between siblings and how to overcome that, how you do overcome it. It shows almost that middle child syndrome. Um, it shows the, the dependency of twins on individuals. It shows a family being united um, in adversity and in good times. I think about the episode when um, Kate went to the swimming pool and she was heavy and she was obese and um, as a child. And she had this Care Bear swimming suit on and it was a two-piece bikini, you know. And nobody in the family really told her the truth about her weight and how society responds to people who are overweight. And so she goes and she's all happy and she sees her little friends and she's waving at them. And the mom knows that, okay, there's going to be an issue with this. But the dad is like, no, you know, leave her alone. Let her go and play. She's going to be okay. The mom knows because she's a woman herself. And she knows that her daughter is obese and needs to lose weight. And that's a hard thing for us sometimes to communicate to our children. And then the little girls write her a note. Uh, with a, a care bear on it and says, we don't want to play with you anymore. You're embarrassing us. This show deals with those things that you just don't want to deal with. And even at the pool when um, Kevin, who strived constantly to get his dad's attention, um, almost drowned trying to f chase after this football, his dad never saw him because he was so wrapped up into Randall, who ended up playing with some black kids um, at the pool and didn't tell his parents that he was gone because he was fascinated with seeing African-American people who look like him because he was adopted into a family that did not understand that he needed this. He needed to um, know, even though he was born up in a, in a loving family, he needs to know his black side. This show deals with all of that. Uh, let me tell you, if you have not been watching This Is Us, you need to take an opportunity to marathon it. It's going to be snowing, so it's a really good time to marathon this movie and look at it tomorrow with the finale. Even with Randall being, you know, finding his dad after all those years. And then later discovering that the mom knew who the father was the whole time. To see the life that William Shakespeare, which is Randall's dad, lived. And to see the comparison with Jack. Jack and Rebecca were the best parents ever. But you know, as parents, we all have our flaws. And it kind of shows you you without showing you you. It shows you us without offending. And this show shows you us. It is a tearjerker from beginning to end. It makes you sit up on your seat. It makes you hit the pause button and ponder. This is one of the best shows that I have seen on t TV in a long time. And here we are upon the season finale 
of This Is Us, and I am coming out to you to petition you to go and watch the show. It is one of the best shows. Yes, we liked our housewives, we like our trash, but this show right here is a treasure. Thank you so much for watching my review, and I'll talk to you next time. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.